Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 bot AI cast. We are back with another another one of these uh, matches here. It's going to be Golden Aura, the AI edition. You'll have to forgive me as I botch that intro a little bit. As uh, I know the channel's had videos regularly, but it's been at least at least a month since I've regularly cast videos anyway. More than a month, so I'm getting back into the swing of things on the new setup still. Just uh, I just was battling Windows 11 and how Windows makes... <laughs> it seems that every version of Windows, they hide the settings you actually want deeper and deeper behind terrible GUIs. And so I was trying to find the Windows setting to make sure that nothing could control my microphone. Because uh, programs like to do that all the time and mess with audio levels. But here we are with what should be an awesome match, as it's got to be two of the fan favorite bots. It's going to be Micro Machine, the Micro Machine, taking on Eris in what should be a really fun TVZ. I don't think Micro Machine ever gives lame games, to be honest. And so, whichever bot, the, the only time Micro Machine's going to have a lame game is when it just absolutely bops its opponent. And I don't think that'll happen, seeing as how its opponent is Eris. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are the best at it. This uh, YouTube community we have is uh, the best at it. So make sure to go ahead and click that like button if you haven't already. If we can hit, oh, let's say... 37 likes on this video that would be amazing join the discord which is linked down below leave a comment saying more bots if you want to see more bots and if you've already watched two minutes into this video and you're not subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button and if you are a bot author that sees cool bot games please do send them my way i cast pretty much all the recommendations sent as uh these bot games are always great to watch. So, a TVZ between these two. Micro Machine has already gotten away with a very strong macro opening as it went for a command center first, then floated it down to the low ground. And its build did say, if we pull up the chat there, chosen strategy, fast PF. So Micro Machine going for a very safe opening. And this is... Uh, this is a very well-rounded build. Against Eris, I can I can say that uh, it's honestly not too necessary, as Eris is not a bot that attacks early on. Uh, I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation. It's it's cousin or sister dis dysnomia dysnomia. Let's see, I'm not gonna pronounce it right. Is uh, is the more aggressive variant of Eris, but this is just this is just bread and butter the staple heiress, so we're not going to see any crazy attacks, I don't believe. And so, does Micro Machine really need this planetary? Probably not. Is it the end of the world that it went for it? Also, probably not. And I do hope that you viewers are happy now that I've gone back to the old to the old game heart overlay. I had to, had to dig through Google to find that, but... It, I do enjoy this one, as it does have the APM in the corner and the bottom right there. And yeah, now we see Micro Machine getting out a Siege Tank. So it's got a Siege Tank and a Planetary. It absolutely doesn't have to worry about dying at all this game. Whereas Eris, on the other hand, could potentially get attacked in a little bit here. At the same time, though, Eris is a very strong macro bot, so if it's left for a minute or two... It will just it will just get up a very scary amount of units. It looks like one of those overlords must have perished though, pardon my observing, as Eris did get a little bit supply blocked for a second there, however, another overlord's already been made. This Reaper is harassing a little bit, but these speedlings should be able to hunt it down and kill it. I do hope my observing has been all right with you guys since I started putting up daily videos again. I am using I'm using no mouse mat and probably what if I had to guess is like a 10 to 15 year old Logitech mouse powered by a AA battery. 
So uh, it's definitely not, not the cream of the crop, but it's doing the job good enough. And let's see, we've got a third command center on the way for Micro Machine. So going for a strong economy of its own, but not a crazy economic rush with the fact that it did go for that planetary. It's made plenty of units as it chases around this one Zergling. Eris's Ling Micro is pretty good to try and avoid that threat. Now Eris gets a fourth base on the way, making three spore crawlers at a time. And I really don't know which way this game is going to go. Because Micro Machine has a very strong late game, but then other times it will go for attacks that are not necessarily the most successful. If Eris gets up a big clump of Zerg, Micro Machine could feed into it a little bit. But we shall see, as that third base is just about done. Eris just about got its fourth base done as well. And we are seeing Micro Machine now saying it's going to go for an attack. 17 ally supply versus 10 enemy supply. So a tank, what, or two tanks, a cyclone, a couple marines going to go for it, try and pressure Eris, but Eris is queens, roaches, and a decent creep field in order to help push this attack back, so I'm not too concerned at all, as I think Micro Machine may want to cancel this attack, and we see that in chat. That's one of my favorite things about Micro Machine, it does elect to retreat when situations are risky. We do see Eris almost get those marines diving on top of them with their zerglings, but I think it's a zerg. As a couple lings got picked off, the math changed a little bit, and neither of these bots are being too aggressive uh, with their unit control. So both playing on the passive side. Micro Machine pulled it, its units back, but Eris also retreated when it possibly could have got those marines. Not too significant, though. We are entering a significant state of the game, though, as we do have the Banshees of Micro Machines starting to harass on Golden Aura. There is potential attack angles for those Banshees to get something done. However, we did just see one of them go down, so that's a really good start for the defense of Eris. Micro Machine will micro these Banshees so well, but they do need to get some work done. Otherwise, this 80 drone Zerg will just be having free reign this game. Micro Machine does have does have that planetary at the natural as an anchor point, but it doesn't have a planetary at the third. The fourth probably won't be one either. And so these tanks are going to be really important when it comes to taking a fight. The Banshees will do okay, but my concern is that Eris is going to have this big Roach Hydra ball. We'll see if Micro Machine will make the right decision, probably to play a little bit more defensive against this. It's investing in a lot of Banshees right now. It's got a Fusion Core done, so we could see a Battle Cruiser on the way in the future once that expensive unit can be afforded. But Eris is getting close to that maxed out point. It just fired up 13 more drones. So it's got just an absurd economy and it's going to be able to start attacking to start pumping units non-stop. We'll see if these Banshees can potentially get a bit of work done as we do see some drones taking fire from this speedy, speedy Banshee. And there is now a couple of tanks out on the map. The worst possible units Micro Machine could be out on the map because they are so mission critical for this Blue Terran. So Micro Machine is getting ready to attack. We'll see if it's going to change its mind once again, though, and pull back because it's 72 Terran supply attacking into 100 Zerg army supply. And these Hydras, these Roaches, and soon-to-be Infestors are no joke. I'd prefer if Micro Machine was a little bit more passive. We are seeing some Banshees get some free shots off on this Zerg army, though. There's plenty of harassment going on all over the place now as we take a look. This Banshee may kill off this Spore Crawler, which will allow this base to be attacked more often. And Eris can potentially be vulnerable to this overwhelming harassment as that Spore Crawler does get cancelled, so these Banshees can keep on skirting around. We have seen some Hydras actually come forward, though, for an attack. There's a bit of a tank line here to help defend this. That one Ling, oh, is attacking this tank. It needs to be dealt with. The two tanks do stay alive. That's very important for Micro Machine. It's such a dicey position here, though, as all of a sudden there's chaos all over the map. As, yeah, these Banshees are are doing well, really using their cloak mechanic to try and get some kills. There's even the battle cruiser out now. However, all of a sudden, that's a hostile BC as it got hit with the neural parasite. So far, Micro Machine is holding on though, and this BC will run out of, uh, or will have the neural parasite expire. Where did that battle cruiser teleport to? Pardon me. 
Um, okay, to the very bottom right corner. It's interesting that that's what Eris does when it doesn't get the kill on a neural unit. It just sends it as far away as possible. And let's see, another Neural Parasite going on that BC, however the Raven and Marauder are able to kill off that Infester, and all of a sudden things aren't looking half bad here for Micro Machine. Resources lost, it's definitely in the lead, it's still down on supply by a significant margin though. Eris has produced Mutas, which have basically shut down the Banshee harassment I believe, Queens as well, also with good positioning as these two bots are still just scrapping away. The upgrades are pretty darn good for Eris, soon to be 2-2, but not before this fight is done. A Neural Parasite hits that Battlecruiser. Eris will target it down, so that falls. These tanks are holding on as long as they can, but the Hydras are actually able to kill them off. That is not good for Micro Machine. The Blue Terran bot was out on the map a little bit too far and lost some critical units. We're going to have to keep pay close attention to that supply to see if it can get it back up or not but now we're seeing the third base attack even the queens are coming on in here and oh boy this is looking really problematic the one battle cruiser is good but the infestors are such a hard counter to it scvs are abandoning ship as that fourth base is no longer being mined at there's a base in the top right attempted to be built however the scv building it was killed off Micro Machine is trying to hold on. It's at 150 supplies still. It's making two more battle cruisers at a time, so that could be big. But there's still plenty of investors there, which will cause cause problems. This one siege tank is getting some big shots off. There's also the planetary to fall back to for Micro Machine. I mean, it's not mining though, really, at its third or its fourth base. This base in the top right was not meant to be as a single roach. We'll deal with that. Eris segmenting off a couple units to deal with that. We see another battle cruiser go down. And things are looking really problematic here for Micro Machine that's trying to repair that one battle cruiser. Looks like the Infestors are not in position right now to deal with that, so the Blue Terran may stabilize a little bit. Micro Machine is in a rough spot though, as it's not mining at its third, it's still not mining at its fourth, it's transferring some SCVs back to that fourth. It is good to see that Micro Machine has behavior to pull those hostile to pull the scvs from danger but it does mean there's a lot of lost mining time that took place so micro machine is going to have to resaturate up those bases hopefully hang on long enough a tank kills off that hatchery which is nice although that hatchery was on micro machine's side of the map so that was kind of the bare minimum we're also seeing the blue terran move out to attack now i'm not sure that's what we want to see though as <laughs> the, this Zerg is still maxed out, so soon enough I think Eris will probably go for another attack. And there's all the Hydras. The tanks are sieged up in a really nice, well, in an okay position. The problem is they they had absolutely no buffer to support them, so Micro Machine losing some of those critical defensive units. There was also no plus one attack on those siege tanks, so they didn't actually get that much damage done as you would have thought. The plus... The plus two armor against the siege tanks with no attack upgrades actually really helps out. And so Micro Machine's in quite a rough spot. That third base has to lift off, almost burning down. It may be shot down, and it is. There's one more tank to hold on at the back line, so Micro Machine's just barely staying alive right now. That tank is still shelling away on these Hydras. It's getting some good work done, up to eight kills. SCVs try to repair it, but they are unsuccessful. And Micro Machine dipped below the 130 supply mark. That's not good. If it had, say, got up this base in the top right, that would have really changed things up. We've even seen Eris make some slow banelings. What in the world? I don't think I've seen that from Eris before. Is getting out centrifugal hooks, though, which is really cool to see. Uh, potentially a bit of a baneling transition, and that really shows the depth of Eris. The fact that it adds on banelings at, like, the 14-minute mark. Tanks are trying to hold on, but it's looking it's looking not too pretty for Micro Machine. It's got one real real mining base here as the natural base is starting to mine out. There is a good tank count, and Eris doesn't have too much counterplay to mass tanks, but these tanks would have to be like in perfect position with a perfect buffer. We see another one of those battle cruisers go down. That is mighty, mighty rough. And uh, we do see this uh, third hatchery being worked on. So Micro Machine's been trying to hold on, but I think it's not going to hold on in this game as Eris is going to be able to 
kill Micro Machine with that third hatchery dying. The tanks are in good positioning, but there's just not quite enough of them to save that command center. I mean, there's no more bases for Micro Machine, so it's making a Marine at a time. That's a really rough spot for that Blue Terran. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this one, make sure to go ahead and click that like button. If you haven't already, we see Micro Machine using its few resources to kill that burrowed Ling. Uh, it's, yeah, it's really rough for Micro Machine. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and subscribe. Wait, how did those depots get burning? I'm so confused. I need to. I need to see why. Oh, what? What? A random burrowed bane or random baneling drop dropped on top of Micro Machine's depots and set them all on fire. Uh, Eris really is a bot. I, I know it's pretty pretty standard because it does everything so well for Eris, but it does have that little bit of flair, which I love. And the bot authors of uh, Team Eris really is a great great bot team with all the projects they've created. And yeah, Micro Machine hanging on, but it will not last as the Hydra's step forward. The tanks lacking the plus one attack I think is pretty significant as uh, they would have dealt a lot more damage but then just Micro Machine never really hit that hit that level of supply it needed to hold on. Big Fungals killing off all the SCVs. The Planetary is being repaired slowly, but 20 supply against 200. That's, uh, that's 1 to 10 odds. Well, thanks so much to everyone for tuning in. If you have feedback on the audio for this mobile setup or anything to do with the videos, let me know in the comments down below. If not, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for tuning on in.